I wanted to start off by making some comments about the new show on A&E called Extreme Paranormal. So I watched this video by Movie Dan. He was saying, go see Extreme Paranormal. It's outrageous. So <laughs> I sat through an episode of this show. I think it was the second episode. They go to a swamp. There's three guys in the show, in case you haven't seen it. Um, one of them sounds like he wants to be on the WWF. This got like this wrestler voice. Um, another one is Pillsbury Doughboy, who's their tech specialist. And the third guy is um, a pasty dork who is supposedly an occult specialist. So they go to this swamp called Manchac Swamp in Louisiana um, and they try to perform a voodoo ritual. Now Nathan, who's their occult specialist, smokes a big fat cigar and um, while mispronouncing all of the French names of the voodoo spirits he's supposedly summoning. So anyway, so he gets really sick and starts coughing and he um, feels really nauseated and he ends up passing out and the other guys freak out. Oh no, he's been possessed by a demon. Well, no, guys, um, there's nothing paranormal about being sick from smoking a cigar and passing out. So, all right, um, their next little gimmick was putting chicken's blood on the Pillsbury Doughboy's head and burying him alive in a coffin. So, um, I think his name is Jason, this guy. So they bury him alive in this coffin and uh, he's like, oh, I hear knocking on the coffin. Uh, well, of course you hear knocking on the coffin. It's the dirt settling on top of your fat ass. Hello? Um, they have a thermal cam and they supposedly see an apparition of a male figure standing in the trees watching them. And so what do they do? Well, of course they shout at him and start rushing towards him. Hey, stop, blah. Yeah, okay, the guy runs away. Well, perhaps he's a local swamp dweller who happens to observe these three dumbasses performing badly, performing, um, voodoo rituals in a swamp graveyard while cameras film them. And then they start burying some guy alive. Now, if I were this local swamp dweller and I happened to observe this, I'd run away from these rednecks too. Like, if they started charging at me screaming, I'd get the fuck out of there as fast as possible. So, do I think that he was a demon or a ghost watching them? No, I think he's some local saying, I'm getting the hell out of here. Extreme Paranormal. I tried to watch the first episode where um, they go to a prison where there was a lot of horrible atrocities happened at this prison. Um, essentially, they vandalized the historical site um, have complete and total disrespect for the dead who may still be lingering um, insofar as to curl up on the floor and uh, in the spot where a man was burned to death um, you can see the charred outline of his body on the concrete they curl up on it and then they put this flammable shit down on top of it and set it on fire now, I thought this was completely, um, although on one hand, ridiculous and kind of comical. On the other hand, I felt it was really insensitive um, and unnecessary. They go on to um, construct a Jacob's Ladder and start cutting through the bars of the cell with, a, you know, one of those saws. Those, I don't, is, was it a buzz saw? I don't know what they call it. It's like a round saw. They try to saw through. An electric saw. <sighs> yeah. 
painful. So they come up with nothing every time they hear a sound. Instead of shutting up and trying to capture something on the recorders, they start shouting like hyperactive children. Um, oh my god, did you hear that? And they start charging at it. So of course they get nothing. No EVPs because they're shouting over everything. They get no um, apparitions on camera, nothing, 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 nothing. So the second part of the episode, um, they were supposed to investigate in a lake underwater. And I just, I couldn't do it. I could not suffer through it anymore. I'd had enough of the pain and the torture. I couldn't do it. I felt my brain cells just leeching out. It was horrible. Yeah, I got out of there as fast as possible. Goodbye. Um, if you haven't seen Extreme Paranormal and you want to have a good laugh and maybe a little bit of a cry because it's really painful, <laughs> if you're a masochist who likes to laugh, check out Extreme Paranormal. <clears throat> um, it's definitely unforgettable television. So, can the ghost hunter craze get any worse than this? I'm a little bit scared to see what kind of crap are they going to put out that's even worse than this. I mean, it's coming. I can't even... Uh, what is it going to be like? Siamese twin ghost hunters? Is that what's next? I hate dead people.